Cycling and nicotine, a seemingly odd pairing, right? Well, it's being talked about a lot more recently and it's a bit concerning. Here's what the science says. In a 2017 systematic review, two out of six studies assessing the performance enhancing effects of nicotine reported positive results. One study reported that time to exhaustion increased in 10 out of 12 participants. Yet some studies investigating the impact of nicotine gum on anaerobic power reported decreased performance. Why do we see opposite effects? As a whole, the research on nicotine is inconsistent with regard to dose and route of administration, and therefore unsurprisingly produces inconsistent results. With that said, some researchers suggest that the impact on different sports may vary because nicotine increases heart rate and peripheral blood flow, which is more likely to benefit endurance performance. Due to an increased release of dopamine, nicotine may also enhance motivation, which is a greater factor in prolonged exercise. The big caveat is that it is an addictive drug that increases your risk of cardiac events and strokes due to elevated blood pressure and blood vessel issues. And athletes are not immune to these dangerous effects. So in terms of performance, the research looks to be inconclusive at best. But the risks are serious and well known. Fitness built on a foundation of health is undoubtedly the most reliable and safe way to get faster. Is the pairing of nicotine and cycling irresponsible? And why aren't these increasingly popular discussions citing the whole body of evidence as opposed to a few studies? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below.